Hello traders, this is Shlomo Cooper and we are with another Wall Street preview ahead of the opening bell. Alright, it took the Dow Jones 76 days and finally it did it, it cracked it. And with a big thank you to IBM, this is at least what the Dow Jones owes IBM for blasting through the psychological level 23k yesterday for the first time in history. That movement of the Dow, which jumped 0.71%, was almost exclusively thanks to a huge movement of 9% in IBM shares. That was after its earnings. And, you know, just to remind you, it was one of the stocks in our stocks on the radar for yesterday. Those big round numbers are getting easier to reach on the Dow on a percentage basis. Um, that's great because every time we get a milestone like that, it seems like mainstream America pays more attention to financial markets. So right now we see the Dow Jones, the DIA, this is the diamond, that ETF that tracks um, the Dow Jones above $230 per unit. Um, this is the equivalent of a 23k on the Dow Jones on the big index. So which stocks were the most contribu contributors on the Dow since August 2nd? That was when the index first broke above 22k. So it was first of all Boeing, BA, which actually yesterday also had a great day. So this is Boeing and let's just let, let's take a look on the daily chart year to date. So uh, Boeing added 140 points to the Dow uh, Jones and you know it, it has had nothing short than a stellar year. In 2017 Boeing is up 66% and you know it seems nothing is going to stop Boeing of moving even higher. Also Caterpillar CAT which contributed to the Dow since 22k 121 uh, points and also it's presenting it's sporting 41% year to date a great year also to Caterp Caterpillar. Okay, we are with trade of the day and the earnings are coming out at a very good and strong pace. And the positive reaction yesterday wasn't confined only to IBM shares. Another stock on our stocks on the radar for yesterday was Cree, CR. EE from the semiconductors uh, sector, which ran through the ceiling and playing all of its cylinder with a great show of more than 16% to the upside, most of that intraday action. So how did we trade yesterday a uh, Cree? So actually Cree was quite generous to provide us a couple of trading entries using the 10 to 15 tactics my traders are laying in the top trader course, which is aimed only to traders who have already acquired basic trading skills and are targeting the professionalism of trading. On Cree, using the one minute chart, I'll just switch for, from five minute to one minute. All right, and let's scroll to the left. So after it's early gap up with a boom bar, all right, a, on the five minutes chart, we see the huge bar to the upside. We waited for the stock to consolidate a bit, it's early huge run. Once it got down to the VWAP, a volume weighted average price and got the support there, we, we knew the market makers are going to bid once again and this is exactly our entry point. I took it above 31.18 with the stop loss just below uh, 30.90. This is about a 30 cents stop per share. Now, we could have used the first opportunity here, and it wasn't a bad one, but you know, in reality, in this real life, I was occupied by other stocks and took uh, the second entry. Part of my traders used the boom bar here on the five minute uh, chart. This is the boom bar technique. We teach in our top trader course to, get, to gain an even early entry here after the first five minute bar um, was completed. What a huge run, huge run, 16% to the upside till the end of uh, the day and around here it was uh, showing even more than 20%. What a huge run, a huge run. We don't always get such a home run but a couple of days a month we do get them and you have to have them if you want to be a professional trader.
right, hot sticks on the radar for Thursday. And after the great success yesterday, probably you can't wait watching our stocks on the radar for Thursday. And I won't keep you long. And here they are. First of all, uh, let's take a look on Adobe ADBE in the in the aftermarket as you can see it uh, popped up and it's one of a special interest it jumped more than eight percent after hours the software company gave better than expected profit expectations for 2018 and more than anything else adobe is going to be one of the stocks i'm going to follow and trade today believe me more than anything else when a company upgrade its guidance no investor is willing to be left behind. Again, the former phenomena, fear of missing out. Also, eBay, E-B-A-Y, dropped almost 6% after hour, and that was after the online marketplace company offered mixed guidance. We have also two IPOs scheduled for today. Make sure you have them on your screens. Thank you all for watching. Have a great trading day, and I'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye.